Yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy Floss back again with another video and today we're gonna get into the Amazon Warrior episode number 11. Now, if you're new to my channel and you don't know what the Amazon Warrior is all about, all you have to do is go watch episode number one. But for everybody else, you already know the deal, get your drinks ready. And I gotta throw my usual disclaimers out there, this is not a little kid video. Alright, so if you got little kids, put them out the room, we're gonna be drinking, we're gonna be talking shit, we're gonna be having fun, you know how we do it. And this is not a tech video. All right, so if you're looking for just one specific product, yeah, I do got some tech products I'm gonna get into, but um, this is more of a vlog, more of a just me chilling out with all of the uh, fellas, all the homies, all the ladies, and we're just gonna have a drink and have some fun. Now, before we get into the supply checklist, T is back on the scene. Let's give a round one, <laughs> a nice warm round of applause for Big T back on the set. <laughs> <laughs> what up, T? Hi. All right, so T is back on deck again. If y'all didn't know that, <laughs> just because I know everybody's going to ask, this is my applause button. All right, so that's a little applause app. It's connected to my Beats pill. So, you know, whenever, you know, if I need to give somebody a shout out, I just press the button and we get a nice round of applause. Right. Uh, the, the amount of soundboards I got to play with this Beats pill is mad fun. All right, so. I posted a picture a little while ago on Instagram in the liquor store. A lot of cats was hitting me up um, on the Twitter asking me uh, what we drinking tonight. And here's what we're going to drink. Now, let me just show y'all real quick. This is what we had last week. Oh, there's still a little, little segment left in here. All right, <laughs> last week we was drinking the Malibu. All right, this is the Caribbean rum while with coconut liqueur. All right, not liquor, liqueur. Well, tonight we're going for round two now. I seen this last week. This is another version of Malibu, but this is the passion fruit flavor. Oh, I should have put this in the freezer. I wasn't even thinking about that. I noticed uh, this is a plastic bottle. This is a glass bottle. All right, but this is the same Malibu, but passion fruit as opposed to the regular one. All right, so we got the passion fruit Malibu. You never tasted that before, right? Never. All right, me neither. So we're going into this shit with an open mind. Let's not try this out. Now, we also have some Dole passion fruit. All right, so Dole Tropical Fruit in Light Syrup and Passion Fruit Juice. All right, so keep the theme going. Passion Fruit, Passion Fruit. There we go. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, of course, we got to have one more. Why not? So now we got the Welch, the Welch Passion Fruit. All right, Welch. I, I always thought it was Welch's. I, I is this Welch's? It might be. We have Welch's Grape. All right, this is the Welch's Passion Fruit. All right, so we're going to drink this. Of course, get the Drink Up Bitches glasses. We got two of them. Got a little fork, because we're going to put some fruit in there, keep it real fruity, you know what I'm saying? And we got a little rag right here, keep it a little, you know, a little clean for all y'all OCD niggas out there. And we're going to get it popping. All right, now, um, what I should do, matter of fact, I'll talk about a little bullshit first. We'll have a couple of drinks, then I'll take it straight to the um, to the stream gangsters, all right? Shout out to all the stream gangsters out there. I see y'all. Y'all on Twitter already getting busy. <laughs> Mad comments coming through. But we're we, we going to get into that in a minute. All right, now, my phone is connected. To the beats pill. So if you hear a few uh, beeps and pops and all that, just now that's what you heard me playing that loud. I was trying to find a notification sound that was kind of low, but um, it is what it is. We we'll do. We we'll use the stock notification sound. All right. So let's pop this open. Let's uh, see what this passion fruit looks like. Hide this from your cat. All right. This. Mmm. Smell this. Do the smell test. Mm -hmm. This one actually smells pretty good. I feel like dropping this in the blender. Y'all at home, smell this real quick. Yeah. Smells right. We got some more, uh, some more um, fruit too, just in case we start getting too wasted. Yeah. Had to switch up. All right, so first drink we're gonna make right now. Throw that to the side. <laughs> first drink we're gonna make. I try to make these even if I can. Try to find the same kind of fruit on each one, but um. Kind of chunky, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. <laughs> kind of chunky. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, T, let's go. Oh, see, now this one is different also because this one has this uh, regular top. Not that fancy shit that was like on the plastic one. Mm -hmm. I think I like the plastic one better, but whatever. Let's see what it is. First drink today, fellas, ladies. Oh, for my Giants, man. My Giants, Giants, Giants. Now, uh, all y'all Cowboys fans out there right now, yeah, I see y'all. I see y'all. But getting mad hits on the Twitter from, you know, because the, the Giants played the Cowboys today. Mm -hmm. And we lost. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a bad loss. It wasn't a blowout. But we did lose. So, um, have to have a shot for the Giants, man. But, you know, we still 3-4, and four, so 
We're still right there. Um, basically the same record as the Seahawks, who won the championship last year. So we're still right there. Playoffs haven't even started yet. So all you uh, Cowboys fans, take it easy. All right, the season is still early. But the first drink is going out to the Giants. Big Blue. I see y'all. Don't let that loss slow y'all down. Let's get busy. All right? Drink up, bitches. What do you think? That's nice. This one is all right. That's nice. This one is all right. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I bought the other one here, too, just in case we have to do a taste test. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And see, but I don't know. To be honest, I think I like the other one a little bit better. This one tastes a little different. Um, I don't know. Fellas, y'all might have to try this for yourself. If you like Malibu, you're going to like this, though. It's definitely smooth. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about the passion fruit yet. Maybe got to switch yep. the fruit. Maybe let's see. Maybe we will try with um with one of these red shits. Red shits. <laughs> read the side of this thing later and let me know the different kind of fruits that's in here. This looks like some old, some old apricot type shit or something. My thoughts are good. Whatever. So we'll see. Let's um let's do another quick shot and just see because that one went down kind of funny. I don't know. Went down a little on the on the soft side. <laughs> but this shit, it just shit does taste alright though. I ain't go for it. It tastes alright. Um, maybe I'm just a pineapple lover. Yeah. Maybe I just might. I don't know. I will it's see. It's a different taste from what we normally drink. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. But let's see. Let's drop a little, little mix in there. And we'll see. Maybe, maybe this one. I, I, I'm, I'm trying to go into this with an open mind. That's what I normally do. Alright. So let's, let's try that again. Alright. So let's have a shot real quick. For all the, uh, <laughs> this is a shot right here going out for all of the stream gangsters. I see y'all. I'm about to hit y'all up on Twitter. So um, let's get ready. Let's get busy. Drink up, bitches. Drink up, bitches. All right. What do you think? It's all right. Yeah. It's all right. Mm. Yeah, mm. Give it a shot. Yeah, I'm, we, we, I don't know. Because um, we can still, we, now it's still early in the night. We can still switch up. We still got the other one. Maybe maybe we're gonna try it with some pineapple juice. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna try with the pineapple juice. Talk amongst yourself, fellas. I'll, I'll ask T some questions. I'm gonna grab this pineapple juice real quick. I don't know. I don't know. I don't really know how I'm feeling about that Welch's shit yet. Maybe it's too strong. Mm, maybe so. It could be the Welch's that's that's killing mine. You know? Very fruit fruitful. It is a little too it's a little, you know what I'm saying? It's a little it's a, it's very fruity. It's very fruity. Alright. <laughs> It's very, very fruity, but um, let's put the Welch's to the side for a minute, and we'll rock with some pineapple juice. Now, what's going on? Everybody knows the Galaxy Note 4 just dropped. A lot of people was hitting me up. I'm pretty sure. Matter of fact, should I even talk about that now, or should I take it straight to the Twitter? Because I know everybody's going to ask me about that. I don't have to say the same shit over and over. But let me just tell y'all what happened real quick. What day did we go get these shits? That was Friday. So Friday morning... Chilling in the crib. Now, Thursday night, we on the phone with Verizon. They told us some bullshit. They was like, yeah, the Galaxy Note coming out tomorrow. So I'm already like, all right, word. I thought it was coming out next week. But, you know, if they telling you from Verizon, maybe they know something that we don't know. A lot of times something, you know, they'll tell you something is being released on the first. Then you speak to the sales rep or you speak to somebody from the company and they said, no, it's coming out on the 29th. You got to go by what the company say because then you go in the store and they got some early versions or they got an early shipment or who knows. So whatever. So T was on the phone with Verizon handling some shit and they told us to come through and get the phone tomorrow. So we got mad hype. <laughs> we woke up, woke, woke, woke up mad early in the morning, went up there on Friday morning. So now we on Jamaica Avenue. There's a Sprint and Verizon literally on the next like one block away from each other. Mm -hmm. So I'm getting mine from Sprint. T getting hers from Verizon. So we split up real quick. What's this? It's like a pear? Uh, you you want to taste the pear? Why not? Why not? <laughs> so we split up. So T goes in. T goes into Verizon. I go in the Sprint. About 10 minutes later, T comes up in the Sprint. Now they, they, you know, they gave her the runaround. The note's coming out on the 23rd. So all y'all cast up and hit me up. If you got Verizon, the 23rd is the day for y'all. But I went up in Sprint. I get to Sprint. Now I, started, I touched on this a little in the uh, unboxing video. Sprint is on some bullshit right now. I, a lot of these companies too. Matter of fact, I should turn this down for a minute. A lot of these companies is on some bullshit. They really trying to get. They really trying to get us out of our unlimited contracts. All right. So all y'all cats that got unlimited contracts, my advice to y'all is hold on to them. Now I got to be a little bit more specific too. 
because a lot of cats was hitting me up like, oh, Sprint does have a $60 unlimited contract. Nigga, you don't know what you're talking about and all that. You know, whatever, it's, it, let me explain something to y'all. When you make a video and you say something, that's it. There's no turning back. So there's no way for me to be like, oh, no, I meant this, I meant that. Don't harp on every single word I say and then try to turn around and be like, oh, no, you know, you Googled it and you found out this and that. I know about this, the $60 plan, but that's not a family plan. That's for, that's for somebody just going up in there and buying one phone. I don't need one phone. I got so I need seven phones. So of course, I need a family plan. So you got to read between the lines. Of course, you know, of course, you're not getting those shared family plan for sixty dollars, getting everything unlimited. That's unheard of. So now I got the ninety nine dollars, everything unlimited with fifteen hundred minutes to share. Now, really, nobody cares about minutes nowadays because you get mobile to mobile, free nights and weekends and all that. Mm -hmm. And not to mention, I still only use about 30 minutes a month of actual on the phone time. But the the bottom line is Sprint is really trying to trying to get everybody out of their out of their grandfather contracts because they won't let you upgrade without uh, switching to the new plans, you know, which is some bullshit. Now, a lot of cats hit me up on the on the YouTube in the comments. A lot of cats that work for Sprint, a few uh, Sprint managers, a few Sprint uh, employees and all that. And was telling me little, you know, tips and tricks on what you could do to try to, you know, lock yourself in there and all of that. And I understand that. I definitely understand that because I've been with Sprint for, I don't know, 14, 15 years. I know all the game. All right? I know how to call Sprint and tell them. Okay, I'm all up. I'm making a, I'm making a drink real quick. This is, Oh, I'm, I got this shit backwards, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Set up. Word, T, you set me up for the kill on this one. Yeah? Here, switch this around for me. I'm, I, I, I know all about calling Sprint and acting like, you know, when, this is what I normally been doing for years anyway. When I call Sprint and something don't go my way, or something I don't like an answer that they say the first thing I do is immediately ask to speak to somebody in the cancellation department and I tell them that's it I'm you know that's cool I, I'm out of here yeah. especially nowadays that um a lot of these other companies are buying out your contract it's not like before that you know you just had to you know really talk a lot of shit like okay well I'm about to cancel and then they'll hit you with the well you got to pay $200 cancellation fee and you really can't do nothing about it. You'd be like, oh, okay, whatever. You know, like, you know, that, <laughs> that sometimes they might try to call you a bluff. <laughs> they called me out. Well, well, well. I went through the whole shebang like, all right, fuck it. I'm canceling this shit. They're like, all right, the we're dude was very mad hard. Like, yo, all right, well, we're sorry to lose you. But by the way, you know, you got four lines. You know what I'm saying? That's about $800 for cancellation. Let's go. So I was like, all right, well, let me just hang up and call and speak to somebody else. That's what you do, too. That's another trick. When you call Sprint and, and shit don't go your way, you could either take it straight to the cancellation department or just hang up and try to get somebody else. That dude might be having a bad day or, you know, whatever. But try to get somebody else. So I went up and sprint, whatever, and the shit didn't work out. That's why I, I mentioned in the video I had to go up on Craigslist. So, you know, so shout out to everybody um, <laughs> who was asking me. But, yeah, I didn't go to Best Buy. I didn't go to, I didn't go to Target. I didn't go to Radio Shack. Took it straight to Craigslist. And now I still got my same plan. And, um... I got another scheme. I'm not going to blow myself up, but I got another scheme how to get this Nexus 6, and we're going to get that popping off too, and we're going to keep the same contract. We're going to be grandfathered in, unlimited everything. This way I could be straight streaming Pandora overnight while I'm sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I'm at work overnight sleeping, still streaming music all night. All right, so T, I made another drink right now. Let's have another shot. Let's see if um, we get back in the flow. Let's taste this one. Drink up, bitches. Yeah, this one tastes better. Mm -hmm. All right, so fellas, what I did was I broke out the Malibu from last week. And we still got, let's see, this is probably, I would say one third of the bottle left. That's enough for maybe about five, four or five shots. Mm -hmm. And then we'll take it back to the passion fruit. I ain't going to front. I'm not really feeling the passion fruit that much. Maybe I, maybe we'll try the passion fruit with pineapple juice. Maybe that maybe that could be it too. That's, that's what I was supposed to do. Uh, Pour the wrong one. Whatever. <laughs> all right, whatever. All right, let's just, let's get let's get into the shit. Now, before we take it to the Twitter, real quick, let me tell y'all something real quick about the um the video games. A lot of cats been hitting me up. Y'all seen that video I posted for, with the Killer Instinct video? The official Killer Instinct came out Tuesday night. Tuesday night when we was uh, having a few drinks and all that. The official Killer. Yo, did you see me going in with uh with Maya? Yeah, you see you see me going in. You did that. I was mad drunk. <laughs> I was mad drunk. That was the, the game just came out. I was online. I was getting it in. I would. I was getting it in with Maya. I was getting it in with TJ Combo. You know what I'm saying? And get it with my dude Glace. All right. So um. Facts. 
facts. Yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so let me know in the comments, all y'all cats that do play Killer Instinct, what do y'all think about the new game? All right, because it's a, it's a totally new game now. New new layout when you go to, to the home screen. It's a whole new home screen, the whole new selection screens. Everything is different about it. All the game mechanics are a little bit different. Let me know how y'all think about it. To be honest, personally, I don't like it. Not say I don't like it. I don't like all the changes. Like, I think they should have left it the way it was. To me, it seems like the game slowed down a little bit. And they're trying to make each character a little bit more unique as far as their combos and their moves. And it was kind of it was kind of a little bit more fun when basically all the characters were pretty much the same. You know, all of them had the same openers, enders, middle, you know, links, just different, maybe different inputs. But if you don't play Killing Instinct, you're probably like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? <laughs> but all y'all Killing Instinct cats, hit me up in the comments. I know who y'all are. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what y'all think. Now... What I will do, though, what I will do, <laughs> I'm going to take it straight to the stream gangsters right now. We're going to get into the Twitter because last time I noticed that the Twitter takes up a, a good portion of the time. You know what I'm saying? There's having a lot of fun. And not to mention, I end up repeating the same shit over and over if I just go in now and then take it to the Twitter later. So I'm going to go to the Twitter right now. I'm going to post up a nice little tweet. And now let's see. Let's see if any of the stream gangsters is around right now. Now, this is connected. Let's see. This is connected, but let's um let's get right into it. See that's how much I don't tweet. I always have problem finding out where to where to start my tweet from. Alright, here we go. So I'm gonna start something right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna ha I'm gonna use a nice hashtag. Okay. I'm gonna use a nice hashtag. I know about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Okay. So I'm gonna just some some simple shit hit me up live on the Twitter. Mm -hmm. We'll get it going from there. Yeah, exactly. I type mad slow, right? Well, only when I start drinking, yeah. I st when I start drinking, I type slow, and then when I start getting drunk, I'll be busting the, the messages out mad fast here. Yeah. Alright, here we go. This is the tweet. All right, so I'm throwing this out there live. T, jump on your computer. Let's get it. Let's get it popping, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. All right. <laughs> All right. So now, um, this is what I'll do this time. This time I'll try. Let's try one of these peaches. Yes. Let's try a nice big peach. Let me see if I can find you a nice. Okay. Well, I'll take this one. I don't know what that is. I'll take that one. <laughs> take that one. I think that's a pear. That looks like a pear. Mm -hmm. All right. What's that? <laughs> it could be a pear, pineapple. You know. Let's see. All right, so this is what I'll do. I'll make the passion fruit with the pineapple juice, and we'll see if this um, we'll see if this makes a difference. Okay. All right, because you know I'm, I'm I'm trying to go into this shit with an open mind, but um, <laughs> I don't know. As far as the passion fruit, as far as the passion fruit goes, I don't know if I'm necessarily feeling this one so much, but we'll see. Because you know it's a gamble. Yeah. Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. When you're trying out new shit. Sometimes you're gonna like it, sometimes you won't. At the end of the day, I'm gonna drink the shit anyway. Even if worse than the worst, I have to put the shit in a blender with a gang of pineapples, you yeah, know what I'm saying? And, and we keep it moving, yeah. Alright, so let's have a shot real quick. Or y'all bitch ass niggas drink up. Hmm. It tastes a little bit better with the pineapple juice, I ain't gonna front. I think it was that, that Welch's passion fruit shit. Mm -hmm. Maybe it was a passion fruit overload. Yeah. <laughs> Too much fucking passion fruit at the same goddamn time. But All you right. Gotta try it. <laughs> you gotta try it. All right. So let's see. Let's do. We now we going straight to the Twitter. All right. Let me just um. Let me try to freshen up a little bit. Cause last time I last time I let it go all the way crazy, and the shit was um hard to look at. But niggas like me, you know, that OCD shit. It was hard to look at. All right. Let's see. First up, we got my man Zach. He said, uh, will the Knicks be in the playoffs, and who do you think wins the finals? All right, that's a good question. Will the Knicks be in the playoffs this year? And the answer of, is, of course, yeah. And who's going to be in the finals? It'll probably be the Knicks and the Spurs, yeah. There we go. 
Yeah. I'm going with the Knicks and the Spurs, or it could be the Knicks and um, the Lakers. Yeah, you never know. Now, I know my man Alfonso at home right now getting mad hype because I said the Lakers, even though you and I know, we know that's not going to happen. You know, I just had to throw it out there. That was really a shout out to my man Alfonso. You know what I'm saying? I, I see you. That was just a quick shout out. But um, we all know the Lakers ain't going nowhere this year. Let's, let's, uh, let's keep it real. But it'll probably be the Knicks and the Spurs. Is Cleveland going to be in the playoffs this year? I doubt it. You know, the LeBron bandwagon is going to, they'll probably get them to the playoffs, but are they going to be in the finals? Nah. Nah. The Knicks, this year it's about the Knicks. I'm not even going to blow it up because I was, I was hollering at my man Spike Lee the other day on the low. <laughs> yeah, you know, niggas don't know. I be chilling with Spike Lee on the low. I was hollering at my man Spike Lee on the low. And, you know, the Knicks, I heard the Knicks working on some shit. We got some blockbuster trades. Y'all remember how Boston, out of nowhere, came up with Garnett Pierce and uh, what's his name? Um, Ray Allen. Out of nowhere, niggas ain't even see that coming. But we got some shit coming to the Knicks that nobody will even see coming. We got a big three coming to the Knicks. That's Melo and two other heads. And we and we and we getting it busy. All right, so uh, Zach is gonna be the Knicks and the Spurs. Let's see. Um, my man John Nishi. Will I be getting the Nexus Nine? That's a good question. That's a good question. See, that's why I said I'd rather take it to the two of the first. I was just about to talk about that in a second. The Nexus Nine. I don't know. Do you want a Nexus Nine? Because I get, I, I could get it, and then you know, if you want to rock it, look, look, look it up online real quick. Look at the specs. And let me know what you think about it. If you didn't see it yet, but I know they got it on Amazon. I think it's about five bills. Um, is this the one HCC is building this one? I think it's the HCC, mm -hmm. HCC Nexus Nine, a nine-inch tablet. Mm -hmm. And not, not to mention, you gave away your Nexus to your moms too, so you might as well get a new tablet. You don't even, right. yeah, you don't you don't really even use that note shit anymore. I see T got a T got a Galaxy Note 10, right? But she don't like using the Galaxy Note 10 because every time she pull out Note 10, I pull out my Note 12. She gotta kind of fall back to the side a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I'll be overshadowing her. Like the when I pull out the Note 12, her her, her Note 10 just seems so small, it just almost disappears. Yeah? So she don't really use that shit too much. But check out the Nexus 9. Will I get it? I I'll, I'll, I'll get it. I'll, I'll get one for T, but um Personally, I don't. I don't think I, I really want it because I'm spoiled right now. You know what I'm saying? I use the I use the Note 12. After using the Note 12, I like these big giant tablets. Like I was really disappointed. I thought Apple was coming out with some 13 inch iPad. Remember all the rumors you heard about that? Yeah. I really thought Apple was coming out with a 13 inch iPad. That would have been crazy. That would have actually made me start using iPads again. And you know, right now my iPad got straight dust on it. It's a straight decoration on my desk. But um. I don't know. I'll get it. What do, you, what do you think about it? I like it. All right, so she like it. So I'll get, I'll get one. I'll make a little video on it, let y'all see what it look like and all that. Give y'all my real impressions on it and all that. But I don't know if necessarily I would get one for myself. But I'll get you one, T, for your birthday. Ow. Yeah, but see, for us, we don't. We, now, me and T, we don't celebrate birthdays like that. We when I say when I say for your birthday, that means just pick a day and just call it your birthday, and then we just be like, all right. So next birthday. week is my next birthday. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I'll get you one of those T. We can rock out. Let's try this shit again. This is my last one with these shits, and then we're gonna have to take it back to the take it back to the regular Malibu first. Polish that off, and then we'll go back to this uh, passion fruit shit. I should have known, though. I should have known the name. Passion fruit. It Don't is a, you, it. you know what I'm saying. It, it, it makes you feel like it's gonna be some ni nice, comfortable shit, but turned out to be some bullshit. All right, so Nexus Nine. Yeah, I will get that. Happy birthday, T. Drink up, bitch. Ah, okay. Let's see. Kevin Miller. HTC M8 versus Note Four. I really need to turn this notification down. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. That speaker is great, That speaker though. is mad loud. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is ridiculous. Really? All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> shout, out, shout out to T, because I put her, I, I was, she was, she, she was doing some shit on the computer. I had the speaker on. I went to Zedge. I was looking for a new ring turn and a ring tone, and I pressed the button. That shit. You did get scared, T. <laughs> I did. You did I get did. scared. I did. I'm going okay. to admit that. Yeah, don't, don't fret. All right. Let's see. Um... HTC M8 versus Note 4. That's a good question. To be honest, I'm going with the Note 4. All right, the HTC M8, yeah, super smooth. Speakers on the front, beautiful aluminum build. You can't deny it. That's been my favorite phone for a minute. But after rocking the Note 4, and just in case y'all don't know, this is it right here, the Note 4. After using this for, 
little over a day and some change. I'm back in love with the note. Now, I started falling out, and we'll talk about these cases in a minute. I started falling out of love with the note because anybody who has a note, you know. Now, I'm not talking to all the cats that be rooting the phones and dropping different ROMs and flashing and all that. I'm talking about cats who rock a note sto uh, stock. After a while, the note will start to get a little laggy. It will start to get a little bit buggy. And we'll start to get a little bit boring, even though, you know, you use the S Pen, you're going to have a lot of fun with it and all that. But for a guy like me, that new phones come out, and then it's like, all right, even though the Note is my favorite phone, then the LG comes out with the G3, and it got some new features and new this and new that. Now I'm jumping on that bandwagon. <laughs> then, the, then this phone comes out, I'm jumping on that. So my Note kind of fell, started falling back to the side, even though at the end of the day, I still got to use it for the S Pen. But if you're going to put the Note 4 against the HTC M8, I'm going to go with the Note 4. Now, keep in mind, if you, even if you never use a Note 4 yet, just imagine when you got your Note 3 the day you took it out the box and that shit was mad smooth and mad fast and it felt, felt, just felt great. That's how the Note 4 feels. That's what I'm saying. So, y'all cats at home, if you got a Note 3 and you're wondering, should you upgrade to get a Note 4? There's really nothing to think about. All right, if you got a Note 3, you need a Note 4. I hear a lot of people saying that, Oh, it's not that much of a real upgrade, you know, it's just it's just a minor upgrade and all that. Look, like I said before, even if it was the same exact phone that just had instead of a 13 megapixel, now you got a 16 megapixel, that's an upgrade. So I need that, yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But we're not only talking about just the camera. You're talking about better display, better battery, better better uh, GPU, better everything. So it's an all-around upgrade. So it's not just Okay, it's, you know, a lot of people, I, I guess I understand, though, a lot of people kind of disappointed because the Note came out with the same exact size. You know, and a lot of people thought that it, um, Samsung would have went into like maybe 5.9, you know, just because it's an upgrade. But personally, I'm not mad that they kept the same size. I haven't even tried these other cases yet. I want to try some of these leather cases and all that and just see if they still fit. I know the camera placement might be off and all that, but... You know, they got all these fancy cases. You might still want to use them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so HTC versus Note 4. Kevin Miller, I'm going um, Note 4. Let's see. Steven Garcia. All right, this is my dude right here. Let's see. Um, he said he made this for you, what we drinking. Let's see. Let's, let's click on the picture. Let's click on the picture and see what pops up. Maybe I should have looked from the phone. This tablet be um, acting sus sometimes. Or that could be Twitter. Matter of fact, let me take it to the Twitter real quick. I want to see what my man Steven Garcia is talking about. Let's see. Yeah, T, I'm, I'm definitely feeling the pineapple juice over that other shit, though, to be honest with you. Yeah. Definitely. definitely. Um, you know, that, that that's some shit, though. We'll save that. We'll save that. Um, Welch's? Yeah, we'll save that Welch's for, for something else. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here we go. Yeah, for some reason on the tablet, the shit don't be acting right, but this is what my man sent you. All right, this is the keep calm, keep calm and drink up, bitches. All right, you see, so my man, Steven Garcia, I'm going to favor that real quick. You know what I'm saying? And when I, when I favor shit, this is this what it look like when I favor I press the <laughs> bar, favor the shit, and I smile. I cheese a little, yo. I don't, I, don't, I don't just favor the shit like, oh, okay, yeah. When I favor some shit, I, like, I smile first and then favor the shit, yo. All right, so Steven Garcia, he, 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 he made me smile. I like that, yo. All right, so drink up, bitch. Matter of fact, let's have a drink for my man, Steven Garcia, yo. All right, let's have a quick shot. Now, real quick, yo, I got to tell y'all, movie of the week. Now, <laughs> I got to tell y'all, yo, yo, my man Steven Garcia, hold on a second, all right? Hold on a second. We, we are going to have a drink for you, but movie of the week. Now, what did we just watch last night, T? What was the name of that movie? We watched two movies last night. Okay, oh, let me tell y'all about the first movie that we watched. Escape Plan. All right. Now look, let me let, let, let me let me let me explain something to y'all real quick. I know I know the <laughs> three second rule. <laughs> I give a fuck, nigga. I'm hood as fuck. I know what y'all saying now. Like, damn, this nigga just ate that shit up the table. Yup. That's how we do, nigga. T, don't front, yo. When you was back in Brooklyn back in the days, Here we go. you dropped some shit on the floor. You said God made dirt and dirt don't hurt. I did or, in Jamaican Queen. Or, or you do you do the shit right now, or you did the three second rule. You keep it moving. Movie of the week, real quick. That's all right, cool. but we got all night to fuck with the Twitter. Let them shits, you know, rack up. We'll keep it moving. Movie of the week, Escape Plan. Now, this movie is not new. This is the Arnold Schwarzenegger and um, Sylvester Stallone movie. They was in the prison type shit. All right, now this movie came out a while ago. Now, remember, we 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 were supposed to go to the movies and see it, and we ended up seeing something else. 
I forgot what it is. We end up seeing something else. Then not too long ago, maybe maybe in June, right around my birthday, in June we was in front of the crib and Mook came through. And I remember Mook was telling us we need to see that shit. And then we was like, alright, cool, we need to watch that shit. He had I think Mook Mook had the DVD. Then maybe a couple of weeks after that, it came out on Amazon. Remember that night we was on we was on Amazon. We was we were supposed to watch that mm -hmm. and we ended up watching some other shit instead. Mm -hmm. All right, so Escape Plan, been out for a minute. It's not a new movie. But last night, so last night we said, all right, we're going to watch this scary movie, right? We're supposed to watch a scary movie. But I said, you know what? I, said, I, I just happened to be scamming through, uh, skimming through Amazon. I seen the Escape Plan. I said, you know what? Let's, let's get into this shit. So we watched that first. That movie on the scale of one to ten is a win. I, I now look, I don't give a fuck. All y'all niggas might be like, oh, that, you know that nigga Fifty Cent, he can't act at all, or whatever. Or Sylvester Stallone is mad old. Arnold is mad old. Like these niggas is washed up. Anybody that's around from my time, you know, from anybody that's around my age, maybe a little bit younger, a little bit older, whatever. You know, cast that came up back in the day. Everybody remembers when Arnold Schwarzenegger was that nigga, and Sylvester Stallone was that nigga, and Niggas would always be like, who would win in a fight? Who would win between Rambo and the Terminator? That was like the main question. Who would win? Everybody want to see them in the movie together, but the shit never happened. Mm -hmm. Then, maybe a couple of years ago, when Expendables came out, that still wasn't them together in a whole movie. That was like little cameo appearance from Arnold, you know, little little guest spot. You know, that wasn't a real movie with just those two niggas as the stars. So this is the movie that like all the old heads kind of been waiting for. This movie is a go, yo. I, right. Now that that nigga Sylvester Stallone, that nigga's old, but that nigga still that nigga still in good shape. He still he still smashing niggas heads in yo. He still kicking niggas in the I throat and all that. <laughs> Word, still, yo, yo, on a swatch nigga. That nigga still that nigga still big as fuck too. Did you see when he, when the nigga suplex the nigga in the, in the mess hall, yo? That nigga did the suplex. Yo, me and T was high fiving and shit, yo, because yo, this this is like old school action heroes. Even though they're older now, but this is still action heroes. Like yeah. this, I remember getting hyped up mm -hmm. to go to the movies to see an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie. Mm -hmm. Go see Total Recall. Go see Eraser. Some shit like that. Like when an Arnold Schwarzenegger movie came out, that was it. That was shut down for the summer. And the same thing Sylvester Stallone when he came out with Rambo and Get Carter and all that. When when a Sylvester Stallone movie came out, it was on. These two niggas in the movie together, it was crazy. And then that the icing on the cake at the end. At the end, we was cheesing. At the end. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna spoil y'all. I'm not gonna give y'all a spoiler. But of course, you know, any action movie that's in in the history of action movies. At the end, when a nigga gets got, the nigga who's getting them got to say some cool shit. That both of them got a chance to say some cool <laughs> shit. Yo, we was mad hype, yo. <laughs> yeah, I almost fell out the bed. I was mad hype, yo. So yo, if y'all take it from me, if y'all didn't see uh, Escape Plan. Take it from me. Go see that movie. I right? trust me. Then after that, we watched another movie. It was called The Ouija Experiment. Okay, yeah. Okay. All right, now this is this is a horror movie. If you don't know what a Ouija board is, just Google it. But a Ouija board is, you know, you, you, it has the board with all the letters. It has a little magnifying glass. Both of y'all put your hand on it, and you're supposed to move it around, ask ask it questions, and the spirits will come out and answer the question. Now, you can buy those from Toys R Us. They sell them at Toys R Us. They sell them at Toys R Us. Matter of fact, T, you, know, um, you got your computer. You know, look, look on Amazon, yo, because I think I'm, I, I, I think I'm gonna have to fuck with you and get one of those shits, yo. And I don't know how to play right I think I'm gonna have to fuck with you and get one of them shits and just just ruin your whole weekend, yo, with some shit. But the Ouija experiment, right? <laughs> now this movie is about these cats. They had a Ouija board. They started playing the shit. And you know, of course, they start playing the shit. Everything went downhill. Like they start playing with the Ouija board, and you know, the spirits came through, fucked up their whole shit. That's the basic premise of the movie. On a scale of one to ten, I would give that movie. I would give it about a five. It's on. If you got Amazon Prime, that's the best part. It's free. All right, so it's a free movie if you got Amazon Prime. If you don't have Amazon Prime, do not rent it. <laughs> All right? I don't give a fuck if it's a dollar ninety nine. Do not rent it. It's a few of those ha ah moments in it, yeah. a couple of ah moments, but not enough for a dollar ninety nine. Like for a dollar ninety nine, I would like minimum minimum four good ah moments, and it was probably like two. What do you think, T? Yeah, definitely. It was probably about two, right? Two. There was a couple. There were a couple of scenes that you was kind of scared. But the point is, when I watch scary movies, especially especially if the movie's kind of whack, then I don't even really watch the movie. I'm not really even into the movie. 
I'm really just trying to scare T. And <laughs> that's, awesome. that's what, you know, so halfway through the movie, I realized that the movie was kind of trash, but it's still three o'clock in the morning. It's still mad dark. It's still one of those movies where the person's walking in the living room with, you know, with holding a camera in hand in the dark. So the opportunity is there for me to get my, my, my scare on on T. So, you know, I was, you know, I was busting T's balls and you know, then I go into my shit. Like if I got possessed or something, you know. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, acting like the spirits took over me and shit, you know, and, and it's funny. <laughs> and T, I'm, I, 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 I do this for you, T. I do this for you. I, I do this for you because I want you, I, you know, look, it, no need for both of us to sit there and watch a whack movie. I might as well give you some performance and, you know, one of us could be scared or whatever. All right, so take it from me, fellas. Look, look, at, it for, look at it for yourself. If you don't, oh, yeah, let me tell you something real quick, too, on the low. If you don't have Amazon Fire TV... I'm like, what is that sound? That's my watch. I hold on a second. I gotta turn my watch down, fellas. Now, if you don't have Amazon Fire TV, I advise you to get it because it's on sale right now on um, Amazon for how much was that? T eighty four bucks. Yes. It's on sale right now for eighty four bucks. All right, let me turn this shit down. Amazon Fire TV on sale for eighty four bucks. Go. Cop. That's a must cop. All right, go through my videos. Look, look at my video I did on it. Trust me when I tell you. That's not something that I just got and did a video on and like, okay, I like it and put it to the side. That's my second most used electronic in my bedroom besides my Google TV is my Amazon Fire TV. I was watching this shit all night. And then, you know, the good thing about Amazon Fire TV is um, it's a lot of shows. If you got Amazon Prime, it's a lot of shit that's on there for free. Now, it's almost the same as Netflix. So I would say if you got Netflix... Then you might not need both because when, when a new release comes out on Netflix, it's the same new release that comes out on Amazon Fire TV. Pretty much the same. But if I had to pick between the Netflix and the, and the Amazon TV, I'll go with Amazon TV. But it's on sale for 84 bucks. I advise you to get that. Okay, T got the Ouija board out. How much is that one? 25 bucks. All right, send me the email for that one. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to get the Ouija board. Me and T, we have to... Now, look, I know... All y'all cats, please don't hit me up in the comments. <laughs> I'm talking about, oh, don't fuck with the spirits and all that. Man, I'm, man listen. All right. I, I, I slap one of these spirits, yo. You know what I'm saying? Nah, 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 you, gotta <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta say goodbye when you're using the Ouija board. I don't give a fuck about that shit, all right? If I come up in the middle of the night and there's some goddamn spirits in the living room, nigga, we gonna get it popping, yo. Right? Now nah, I'm just fucking around. But um, let's have a drink real quick. Like I said, fellas, if you got, if, if you got a minute... Check out Escape Plan, but um, don't check out Ouija Experiment unless you got some time to kill and you got you got Amazon Prime and you're watching it at three o'clock in the morning. I, I advise you to do do not watch it in the daytime, all right? Because it's gonna be like watching some some fake shit. Like the act to laugh at it. Yeah, you, it's, it's gonna be some good laughs, yo. Because the acting on it is cheesy. The black guy in that shit is mad funny though. Yeah. He kind of stole the show. The black guy is mad funny, and um, whatever we'll, we'll see. Yeah. Actually. Let's take it back to the stream gangsters real quick. Let's have a shot real quick. Everything is real quick. <laughs> Drink up, bitches. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. Derek Brown. My man Derek Brown checking in on the Amazon Warrior. How's the Note 4 treating you? The Note 4 is treating me like a boss. As a matter of fact, let me just let me wipe it down real quick before I show it to y'all again. Here goes my Note 4. Now, a lot of people was asking about this, this pattern right here. That's a stock feature, all right? This is, right now, all of my shit is stock on this phone. I leave everything stock until after I do the real review. Once I do the real review, then I'll go to developer options, and I'll go from Dalvik to Art. I'll go change all the animation speeds. I'll go change everything up. But right now, I'm leaving everything stock because when I do a real review, I do it like somebody who just bought a stock phone because most people don't even know how to get to developer options and all that shit so i'm not gonna go and change all that and then do the video on that and people don't know how to get to that so let's um let me show you that one more time because a lot of people was asking me about this this is this is already on your phone if you got a galaxy note this is already on there all you have to do is go go change it i'll show you how to do that in the real review stay tuned <laughs> watch my shit all right um so Derek brown on the check-in i see you stream gangsters on deck Let's see, uh, my man PJV3. What is that? Oh, that's the, you know what it is? I'm like, what is that shit? I forgot I had this bitch-ass OnePlus over here. Let me uh, file this to the side. Now, they did an update on it. The lock screen does look a little bit better. 
Lock screen on the OnePlus does look a little bit better. Let me show you how that one more time. T, let me show you too. This is a lock screen now. It's just kind of transparent. Mm. <laughs> that's kind of tough. Yo, that's kind of that, that's kind of tough. All right, but you know, that's kind of tough. We'll follow this shit to the side. Let's see. Uh, okay, so PJV3. What we drinking tonight? He been on that Bud Light all day. All right, cool. So he been on the Bud Light. We drinking this Malibu shit. Bud Light all day. I'm assuming that you probably was up in the crib watching football all day. I'm hating. But, um, man, you know, T, you know what? One of these nights, we'll, maybe we'll do a little beer episode because you wasn't here today when I did that bug assault and I drank about a six pack or <laughs> I drank about a six pack, yo. I'm down. You down? You like, I give you some Coronas and shit. I like Heineken. Too. T, oh, yeah, I give you some Heineken. Oh, look at this shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. G give me mine. <laughs> I'm it. Nah, nah, nah. Hold on. Put that to the. You, I, 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 I'll owe you that one. I owe you that one. Now, old school cats know what that means. When you do something stupid and the person says, "Give me mine," that means you're about to get a gill. And T was talking about bring it in, yo. You made it. You, you, when somebody says bring it in, that means that you gotta lean your neck forward, assume the position. Let me let, let me explain it because some, some people don't know. When somebody says, "Give me mine," right? Say this is say this is the back of your neck. You gotta lean your neck forward, assume the position. The person takes their hand. And this is a gill. This is a, say say you looking straight ahead. This would be my head looking straight ahead. This is the back of your neck. Somebody will take their hand and go like this, mad hard, yo. Yeah, that sound is like. Right, that's that's called a gill. Now I look, that's called a gill. Now from the old school, yo, a gill is not only about just letting you know that you said something stupid. You supposed to feel a little bit of burn, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when I do mine, I put the two fingers to the side like this. You see, you form this little angle right here. Yo, we had niggas back in the days. We used to take the nail clippers and we used to cut our nails uh -huh. where we form a little point on the, on each nail. You hold this shit sideways, you get to the person in the back of the nigga's neck, and you go like that. You try to scratch that shit. That's called a gill. All right, so for just in case y'all don't know, y'all wondering why T was like, bring it in. I'm supposed to lean forward and give it a gill. I said save mines. Yep. See, so, so when somebody says save mines, that means that we in a situation that... <laughs> We in a situation that I can't lean forward or maybe I can't reach you. You might be in school. That, that's why we used to say save mine because like somebody will say the teacher will ask a person a question, they get the wrong answer. You turn around like you might be sitting three seats ahead of your man. You turn around and look at him and be like, nigga, save mine. Yeah. Wait till we get out of this class, man. Save my shit. And then when we get out of the class and we see the nigga in the hallway, you're like, yo, son, bring it in. Yo, remember that dumb shit you said today? You owe me three girls. Bring it in. Assume the position. Let's get it going. Yeah. And believe me or not, y'all niggas might be like, oh, that's some little shit. You know how many niggas I seen start fights? Uh, you know how many fights I seen literally start over some gills that went wrong, yeah? Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes a nigga might try to smack the neck mad hard or mm -hmm. nigga turn and gill a nigga's earring off or something. And, you know, niggas start catching feelings. Whatever, yeah. It is what it is. All right, so Bud Light, PJV3, I see you. All right, let's see. My man, Bobby Emerson. All right, he said, what up, Floss? How's that East Coast living? Uh, let's see, um... What you get into when you're not on that grind? All right, well, Bobby Emerson, let's have a drink real quick, T. Bobby Emerson, East Coast living is is hard. <laughs> Compared to, you know, drink up, bitch. We're, we're, we're too, let me tell you something real quick. And I told you, I've been looking into um, moving out to Texas and all that. And just the other night, me and T was in the car driving home. And, um... You know, we kind of had, we both kind of had like a little moment, a little New York moment. We was getting some food at about 3 o'clock in the morning. And we like, you know, as much as moving to Texas is so much cheaper and you could go out there and really live like a king and all that for for the same price you're paying out here. You go out there and really live like a king and all that. But there's, there's some things that you just, that, that we just don't have to get used to. And some things that we're going to miss. So we driving around, you know, we going to get chicken in the middle of the night, 3 o'clock in the morning. That's not happening out there. I did, and a lot of kids, a lot of places, you know, except for really, really big cities, like, you know, you maybe you live in Miami, South Beach. You could go get some chicken on South Beach in the middle of the night. But places like Texas, Atlanta, you know, Michigan, there's a lot of places that I done been to that when you, once it's like around 1, 2 o'clock in the morning, that's it. The whole city shut down. And that would be hard for a nigga like me that live in New York. I'm used to, like even right now tonight, it's 11.36. I'm used to, I fuck around, play with this video shit all the way to 2 o'clock in the morning. Then me and T might just get up and we might just go to Burger King or something. You know, and not, not only just go, but literally drive 10 minutes and go get some food in the middle of the night. We could go shopping, we could go to West 4th Street, go get a tattoo, get some pizza. You know, we can do whatever we want 
any time of the day, any time of the night. So that's kind of one thing that's kind of making me want to stay in New York because you know I'm, I'm I like that fast life. You know what I'm saying? I you know, and I know a, a lot of cats is like, well, you know, New York is mad hood and all of that, but. People that grew up in the hood don't look at New York as that hood. You know, it's, it's more of a hood when you come from another state and then you don't know how to walk around. You don't know, you know, what you can and can't do. You don't know the rules to the game. Then it's more of a hood. But when you live out here, like niggas like me and T, we could go walk around in Brooklyn right now. We could just go walk to the liquor store 12 o'clock at night because we know how to move. We know how to carry ourselves. We know how to blend in. So, you know, it's, it's not a hood for us. Now, of course, anywhere you go, you could become a victim, you know, you're not saying that we impenetrable because we grew up here, no. But, you know, we know, like, niggas in New York, you you have that sixth sense. A lot of cats don't have that. You know, niggas in New York have that sixth sense. And hit me up in the comments, let me know where y'all from, if y'all have that too. Niggas in Compton, niggas in Watts, yo, niggas in, you know, niggas that grew, in, in Chirac, yo, in Chicago, you know what I'm saying? Like, niggas understand that. When you go somewhere, everything might look fine and dandy, everybody having a good time. And then you notice when you see about two or three niggas coming in and out, you know what I'm saying? You see a few cars pulling up, you see niggas start looking around and talking with that look. You already know that shit is about to pop off. That's your cue to break out. And then the niggas that grew up in New York, we could go anywhere, we could have fun, but sometimes you gotta know when it's when it's time to go. So that's kinda like my only thing about moving down to Texas and all that is I'm 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 afraid that I'm going to end up just sitting in the house and just getting mad fat and just, you know what I'm saying, just sitting around getting mad black with getting tanned up in the sun all day. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I, I like, as much as I don't like it while I'm here right now, like, you know, we, we go to the store in the middle of the night and there's, you know, we go, go get some cigarettes in the middle of the night. There's 10 niggas in front of the liquor store or 10 niggas in front of the store. And we're like, damn, these motherfuckers don't go in the house, you know, the 10 niggas standing in front of the candy store. But as much as I say that, then when I go out of state, when it's too empty, I'll be like, damn, man, I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Like, I'm just, I'm the only nigga at the store, yo. Like, sometimes I like being around some other niggas, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to, how to explain that. Yeah. Whatever. But um, what do I get into when I'm not on that grind? Let's see. Um, that's a good question. I mean, I'm pretty much always on the grind, though. That's the thing, though. I mean, like, T, you know, I work 24-7. I work seven days a week, 24 hours a day. I'm always working. You know what I'm saying? Even when I'm not in the office... The office, once I leave the office, the office turns into my phone. That's why I got so many phones, because the office is my phone also. So I'm always working, I'm always on the grind. But I like to, you know, me and T, we do go out and do shit. We go out for drinks, we go dancing, roller skating. You know, we sit down and have tea and crumpets and all that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> we, do the, we do the regular shit. But I like to chill in the crib, you know what I'm saying? I'm a little bit older now, a little more wise. I'm more, I, I really like to stay in the crib now and just play with my toys, you know what I'm saying? Play with video games, watch movies. You know, me and TB having a little cook-off. So, you know, TB cooking some shit. I had to hit it with some egg salad the other day. She never even <laughs> seen it coming. You know, like, shit like that. Like, you know, I'm more like a in-the-house kind of nigga now. In the summertime, I do go out a little bit more. I fuck with the car shows, fuck with the races and all of that. But, um... I'm more of an in-the-house kind of relaxed nigga now, you know what I'm saying? My days are running through the hood in the middle of the night, rolling dice on the corner and all that. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of retired from that shit. Now, T, you know, like, you said the barbecue, yeah. I will come out of retirement and bring the dice out if I have to. I will do that. They in the car. They in the car. Okay, all right. So, all right, I'm lying. They in the car. They in the glove compartment. Just in case. Just, just, just in case. case. I got to make a move out of Queensbridge. I'm going to have to pull up the dice. Whatever it is, what it is. <laughs> but uh, but basically, um, I like to just chill. I like to play with all these tech toys and fuck around. And I like to chill in the crib. Yo. All right, that's where I'm at. You, you catch me up in the crib. Let's see, my man Alex Rodriguez. That's the rock and pineapple is on point. It's his new favorite drink. That's what it is, yo. Because yo, keep it real. That's the rock and pineapple ain't no joke. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I, T, I don't know. Correct me if I'm. I don't know if you heard this or not. Did you hear people? A lot of people saying that the Ciroc has real cocaine in it and all that shit. Did you hear that shit? No. I right, maybe you, if, if, if if you get a second, just Google that real quick and see. But um, <laughs> a lot of people been hitting me up like, oh yeah, the, you know, Ciroc has real, real cocaine in it and all that. That's all you are getting wasted on that shit and all that. Look, let me explain something to y'all niggas, all right? I know, I understand Diddy got money. We know this. 
Right, we know Diddy got money. But if you think for one second that Diddy got enough money to be giving away free cocaine <laughs> for the same price as regular liquor, that needs better think again. All right? There's no official website that says that. A website called Nah Daily. Nah, oh. nah, that nah, <laughs> dog. But, but think about it. You think this? You think niggas got money to be giving away free cocaine yeah. for the same price as regular liquor? What is you crazy? Yeah. If anything, Why? if, Why? if Why? anything, <laughs> I would. I, if anything, I would say that if somebody told me a bottle of Ace of Spades had real cocaine in it, yeah, yeah. then I would be like, oh well, you know, that's a little more believable. Like niggas paying, you know, from the liquor store, hundred and fifty dollars, two hundred dollars to a bottle. Then I would be like, cool. But ain't no way you buy some shit for $20 and niggas putting cocaine in that shit. A $20 <laughs> bottle of Ciroc, you know? <laughs> Nah, niggas doing giveaways on cocaine, yo. Nah, dog. Nah. <laughs> but the pineapple Ciroc, I wouldn't necessarily call it my favorite drink right now, but that's one of my top five drinks right now. The pineapple Ciroc with the pineapple juice and the pineapple in it, that's one of my top five drinks right now. And the same thing with the peach. We had the peach, peach, and the peach. That's, one of, that, that's right up there, too. Uh, Hennessy ginger ale, that that's up there, and um oh my favorite drink though my favorite drink would probably be vodka, depends which kind you know any kind of vodka Grey Goose Belvedere whatever you get Grey Goose and lemonade.